if this is their best, and they got a long way to go. Well, I'm just wondering how come it's taken like more than 12 hours to up uh, to put. Uh, uh, oh, what the hell do they call it? The, uh, uh, updates on the apps in my phone. This has taken 12 hours. Uh, it's updating the it's updating the apps in my phone. It's taken 12 hours. You know, I'm not getting anywhere near high speed. I'm not even getting anywhere near 128 kb. Uh, you know, I'm not getting it. And and apparently, you people won't file the trouble ticket on any issue I have. And now, under the circumstances, I'm going to have to sue you. That that now I you know you told me you had filed a trouble ticket on an issue before, but apparently I was able to record a technician telling me enough stuff that just gives me more fuel for the fire, for the uh, class action lawsuit I tend to engage you in. So far, I've found sixty people who are totally dissatisfied with cricket and want to be involved. Um, uh, I'm really sorry for what happened, but you got me on the line. I will definitely do my best so I can assist you. All of the settings on my phone are correct. So it has nothing to do with my settings. It has to do with the fact that you just don't want to give me any uh, speed for my data. It has to do with the fact that your AT&T tower doesn't want to give me any data. It has to do with the fact, as an attorney has found out for me, that you have a secret deal with AT&T. You also have AT&T towers in the area where my phone has its uh, area code. Uh, my address is in Calamus, Iowa. You have a map on, uh, on your website that has two little tiny white dots. And they are located hundreds of miles away from me to the northeast. And your advertisement is that you have total coverage in the United States of America. Yet, now you're telling me that you don't have coverage in Calamus, Iowa, where I have a recording, two recordings. One is made on my phone. The other is made uh, on my webcam and my uh, speakers on. And you people told me that Calamus was covered. That's where my home is. Now, if you're not going to cover me when I'm in Calamus, if you're not going to make it so that my phone will get a download in a reasonable amount of time to update my apps, if you are not going to make it so that you honor the terms and conditions in your contract, I'm going to sue you and I'm going to get a whole bunch of people to do it with me. You sold me a defective phone, but now you want me to pay you for another phone, which you'll give me credit for. I don't think I want to have uh, uh, any truck with your company after this month. And I don't want to get uh, uh, a credit so that I have to deal with your constant aggravation for another 30 days. Now, if you guys want to continue this at all, you're going to send me a phone for free, and then I'll send my phone back to you. I will not pay you any money to do it. Now, I was told by someone in the warranty department that I have to get a hold of you people so you, that you file a trouble ticket so that I can possibly get a phone sent to me for free and then I will return your broken phone. Otherwise, I'm going to have it to use as evidence in court. By the way, this broken phone was a bait and switch deal. You advertised an HTC Desire which you actually did not have in stock because your purpose is to uh, get people hooked on buying a phone because you really can't bring a phone to Cricket. You can't bring your own phone. I, I had a Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. You let me use my hotspot for 30 days and then you cut me off and you told me the reason I wasn't online uh, and couldn't get online is because that didn't jive with your system. But that wasn't true. 
because I used it for because I used it for almost a month before you cut off my hotspot facility. So you lied to me about that. I got to and I can play that for the court too. So and you know nobody wants to go to court, but the thing is, I've spent over a hundred hours with you on the phone about these about this situation, about all these conditions which you and you now refuse to file a trouble ticket on any issue I have. That's not what I would call pro, uh, and you know it wasn't I was uh, I thought you would be filing trouble tickets from day one when I told you I couldn't get or receive texts, um, uh, text pictures on my phone. But it took me, it took me months to find out that I got to sit and hold your hand while you make out a trouble ticket. So I started to do that today. I have spent over 12 hours on the phone with you people. I get $500 an hour in recording studios. So, I've already spent 100 hours on the phone with you for the past five months. Now I've got another 12 hours under my belt. I'm going to, I'm going to get all that money in, small cl in, in the class action suit. I get $500 an hour in recording studios when I play. Oh, it's not a, a, you, this is business as usual with you guys. I have been lied to by every freaking uh, 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 agent that you have. I've been lied to by technical staff. I mean, you know, I live in the 563 area code. And now you're telling me that you don't have towers in 563 area code? In the town of Calamus, I know people with AT&T accounts. You're using an AT&T tower that services them. You're use, you use AT&T towers. Now you're telling me you don't have a tower in a, in a place where you told me uh, a couple of months ago that you did have service? And I know you have service there because even though you won't let me place a regular telephone call, I can call 611 and get you. If you didn't have a tower in the area, I wouldn't be able to get 611 cricket customer care, would I? I recorded that call too, dear. So when you people told me today that you didn't uh, have a service in the Calamus, Iowa area, you were lying. Because you do. Because there's an AT&T tower there, right in the area. I don't like it when people blow smoke up my skirt. Now, are we going to file a trouble ticket on this? Okay. Now, here's what I can do on my end. I am going to make sure that we are going to fix this issue. No, you won't. Look, the issue is this. The issue is this. The issue is this. Are you going to file a trouble ticket? You're going to file a trouble ticket on me, or I'm going to sue you for not servicing me. You have, you, have, you filed one trouble ticket, and I got information from a, te from a person who identified themselves as a technician, which not only uh, aids my uh, class action suit, but proves that you've all been lying to me, including the technician I talked to, because, because he had to go back and change what he said. And I recorded that conversation. Now, this call has taken 10 minutes. That's going to take me a long time to put this video on YouTube. But I'll be calling you guys back. Now, what I suggest you do is this. I'm going to give you my number. I'm going to have to pause this. I don't want everybody in the world to know what my telephone is. No, I don't have time to babysit with you. You will get somebody in a supervisory position somebody in a higher pay grade to call me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold your hand. Okay. I'm not going to do it anymore. I've spent too much time on the goddamn phone. You have my number. You got my pin number. You got my name. I, I expect to call back. Are we communicating? Because I've got things to do here. Okay. Now, um, I am going to look for an available supervisor who can call you 
you back. Well, I'm not going to be on the phone while you do. They're going to call me back. Thank you for your time. All right? All right. I'm going to do my best to look for an available supervisor. You get somebody to call me back. You get somebody who's willing to take a trouble ticket. You get somebody who's willing to solve these problems. Right now, I got to get on YouTube at a slower speed. And I know that I can do it if you're giving me 128 KB. But you're not. If you don't, if I can't get on YouTube, I know I'm not getting 128 KB, and I'm going to download this video. This is this is the culmination of almost half a year of of, of the most wretched service, a fraudulent contract that you make with a person. Now, even though it's a no contract account, your terms of you're violating your terms of service. I'm not going to let you get away with it. You get, a, you get a supervisor to call me back at my number. You get them to call me back damn quick. Because once I start downloading onto YouTube, I am not going to get on the phone. You have 10 minutes to comply. Thank you so much for your time.